Me and my party doing the new Frost Maiden module. Defeat the Yeti. See her baby who one of the players finds adorable. He wants to take it with us. I'm adamant that we shouldn't as they are evil. Halfway through his point of why it deserves a chance, I just run up and snap its neck before throwing it <laughs> off a cliff. Fucking brutal. <laughs> I decided it's only a baby. <laughs> Jesus. It's only a baby. I decided it wasn't worth arguing and I wasn't taking the risk. You killed a baby, of course you're the asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know how I can argue against that. And before you go on about dirt's evil, you know damn well that your GM would have waved that bullshit away because one of your fellow players was actively invested in an aspect of their game and you just killed it. <laughs> yeah, like, let's be serious. It's a wee baby. And let's be serious. Yeah, these. Are they really that evil or are they just beasts? Do they just act on instinct? I think they're just beasts. I, I would consider them just beasts. I wouldn't consider them evil? malicious or no, evil. No, I just think they're like they're beasts. Like if you rock, rock up into a bear's territory, they're going to defend it. Yeah. Halt. You must subject yourself to questioning under the circle of truth. Failure to comply will result in disintegration followed by soul cage. Okay, first truth I want to drop is that I'm fucking impressed there's a high enough level caster here who was somehow convinced to do civic work projects. My party's warlock can barely be convinced to do anything but hit on women and sexually harass her own people. <laughs> <laughs> why, is that every, why is that every fucking warlock I've ever met in my life? Sexually harass her own patron. Great old, old one! one. <laughs> oh no! No! Great old one patron. Once a major deity whose church and nations they patronised got wiped out by the main villain and his mentor. She keeps asking to... <laughs> She keeps asking to get tentacled. <laughs> it's assumed both in universe and out that if the warlock wasn't basically said great old one's last follower, they would have abandoned her. <laughs> I think that would have been safe to say. I, I w- would an eldritch abomination type be interested in that? I don't think they understand no. concepts of lust. How does a patron stay a patron with just one follower? Isn't that a marriage and not a patronage? Stop saying master and started saying hey babe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know exactly, but my GM steadfastly insists warlock patrons cannot have followers in the triple digits, or else it's just a normal religion. Which kind of killed the player's original plan for their warlock to try to recruit people to believe in her patron again, because then she'd be forced to convert her character into a cleric. So warlocks are basically hipster clerics. I found my patron before he was killed. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Yeah, I can't, that's an interesting one. I've never thought about them like that yeah. before. Although, like you know, let's be serious. That's just the saying of how, like you know, how, how many members does it take to be a cult to become a religion? Yeah, you know, let's be serious. The types of people who choose fighter, bloat lord guy who played high school football, or independent young women. <laughs> Megan, <laughs> <laughs> I feel personally attacked. Yeah. <laughs> Rogue, twink, or midget? <laughs> you, midget, oh. fucking manlet over here. <laughs> yeah, they all call me a manlet on the Discord and TG. Because you're five six. Yeah, any, anytime I see complaints about me on TG or the Discord, it's like, can you fucking stop gargling mayonnaise in your fucking mouth for five minutes, you fucking manlet? manlet. <laughs> Go play a game. <laughs> Wizard, coder slash pretentious STEM major. Oh, for God's sake. Bard, fuck boy. Slut or ugly dude who just wants to fuck monsters. <laughs> Cleric. I would believe in God if she give me powers. Monk. Dragon Ball. <laughs> yeah. Barbarian. Quiet guy who would normally shit up a skull. If oh my God. Have an outlet for violence. <laughs> <laughs> Paladin. Atheist who is playing it ironically. Oh no, that's just a deus vault. Deus vault. You know, yeah, yeah, everyone knows a deus vault paladin. Like. Warlock. Catholic kid, his parents think he's a Bible study. <laughs> Sorcerer, absolute sadist who is planning to burn down the DM's house if he goes down one more time. <laughs> Druid, the DM conference. <laughs> why is it why, why is that actually really common? It's so true. <laughs> Druid, Druid. Ranger, Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually that that's that that is c- closer to accurate than what I would like to believe. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is. The big bad evil guy going through a bitter divorce. His bride wants the children. Half his magic and half his demonic legions. Heroes, we cannot allow this to happen. We need the finest demonic lawyers to arbitrate this case. Find them and bring them back here. 
and you shall be richy, richly, <laughs> richy, richy, rich. richy rewarded. <laughs> you want Arrhenius. They're the greatest lawyers in all of the realms. The wife sends a rival team of adventurers to get all the best lawyers first. They must be dealt with. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jeff Bezos, come on here. Like. Kidnaps your human meal fighter. <laughs> what do you? <laughs> get head crushed between legs. Snoo, snoo. Meal fighter wakes up to big titty orc barbarian. Thinks he's going to finally get snoo snoo. Ends up being eaten by big titty orc barbarian and her chad orc husband. Oh no. <laughs> fighter dies knowing this is the only way his beta ass will be inside a woman. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. On that note, we do have some very lovely thick or Th- like I mean, extra thick. thick. Um, like put phlegm at the back of your throat and say that. She's thick. Look, just look at her. Look at her. Big thick. Big thick. You want big thick orc, orc, orc waifus? You know where to get them. Links down below. <laughs> Player says he wants to play an avenging assassin. He's a bit of a cunt anyway, but seems willing to engage in a game for once, instead of getting drunk and sabotaging the other players for attention and lulls. That's not me, Megan. Don't even look at me. <laughs> I, look, no, no. I only get drunk at games IRL, and we haven't had an IRL game in ages, yeah, so... I suppose. Do a campaign based around the party tracking down a string of villains who sent an army to their town, endangering their families and killing some of their friends. Halfway through the final session, after finally finding the final lair of the top boss, the player says he isn't going to bother and chooses to go fishing instead. (laughs) Seems he expects the party to follow him as well. They don't and want to go for their final boss, thinking fuck him and his random shit. I tell him to roll a d6 every hour and he catches something on a 6, with the rest of the party goes for the final showdown. <laughs> okay. He sits in a grump, being ignored by everyone, Wait. and doesn't like it. Okay, where is You're this the going? one he wanted to go fishing. Okay, where is this going? This is going somewhere. And he gets drunk in a corner. Campion concludes successfully, big fight is enjoyed, XP awarded and treasure is shared out. Player elects to withhold his share and, as he did fuck all, he gets to keep his fish though. Glad it worked out, but if he has a history of this sort of behaviour, you shouldn't have let him play. Yeah, no. honestly, I don't think he's got all that into it. I think he just wants to hang out with his meats and have a drink. Yeah, I like, don't, if, yeah. it seems to me that he's not interested in D&D. He's not into role playing games, which no. is fine. Yeah. Which is fine. Not everyone's into that. Yeah. The assassin who only murders evil people. Blood money is blood money, you fucking psychopath. Well, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I can argue against yeah, that. I, I think I, I would argue that. against it, but look, you know, if you want to be all morally It's superior. the same way I would argue that Dexter's fucking innocent, but anyway. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> I suppose that's a more a moralistic standpoint, <laughs> yeah. really. The warlock who uses dark powers to do good. Might as well use Nazi gold to build a hospital, you hypocrite. Hey, you may as well get that gold to good use. Yeah, exactly. It's wasted, otherwise. The noble savage. You were raised by the wolves who ate your parents. Don't act like you understand ethics. Yeah, I've never really understood that. Yeah, I don't get it. I think it's mythologized, the yeah. noble savage. The black guard who would never betray his friends. If you insist on getting backstabbed yourself, so be it. The thief who refuses to pickpocket and only does break-ins. That's theft just pointless. <laughs> yes. that's, that's fucking pointless. Yeah, theft is theft. Don't fill yourself. <laughs> yeah, like, let's be serious. The grumpy half-orc with a heart of gold. You are the product of the most vile kind of rape imaginable and were treated like rat shit all your life. The only thing you should be feeling towards your fellow man is hate and disdain. I, I look, I'm not one of, I don't really, I don't really buy into every time it's a half work, it's a product of rape. I don't really buy that no, personally. I don't buy that. Oh. Not absolutely every single time, you know. Beauty on the beast. Like, like, all I'm saying <laughs> is, we saw how thick that orc wifey was, or we were just yeah. saying, boys, not you know. Rape. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to say no, you know. Hey guys, this is just a quick bit of promo. We got our website up and running and we have a massive restock on most of the models. However, one of the cool things about the website is if there's a model that you're waiting on, you can enter your email and be put on a waiting list. And it's not just good for you so then you'll know when they're restocked. We can also see what you guys are waiting on and what we should be printing. (laughs) So either way, the models are by far the best way to support this channel and to help us do videos that YouTube would find inappropriate on the platform. (laughs) And, like, let's be serious, the models are pretty based looking, so, once again, just look at the titties. Look at the lizard titties! (laughs) But anyway, let's continue on with the video. Monsters are cute and charming with big eyes, etc. 
party can't bring themselves to kill them. When their mouth opens, then their jaw hinges. Roll initiative. Oh no! <laughs> but that's how you make anything. Like, yeah. Anything that's like, really adorable. It's like, no, let's just really fuck it up. Let's make it move all funny. <laughs> yeah. You know, let's have it like arms spread out at the sides. Yeah, Ugh. do that shit. What's the dumbest name slash character you've gotten away with in a serious campaign? Had a character who was a noble knight. He served the king and won countless wars with his intelligence and sheer willpower. Unfortunately, he did something in his past out of desperation and it still haunts him to this day. All in all, <laughs> Hellbrook the Horsefucker was still a good character. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's good. That's good. DM tells us there is a group of goblins worshipping a golden tablet we need for a quest. I come up with the idea to turn one of us invisible hold up the tablet and tell them that their god has come. The only one who knows Goblin is our 6-8 barbarian with an intelligence of 7. <laughs> Dude can't even count in his fingers. He rolls high enough to convince them. He tells them that they must sacrifice themselves for him. Natural 20. All 29 goblins line up as the shaman decapitates all of them. He keeps the shaman as a pet. Jesus! That, that's not bad. Well that, done. That, that, well done. Good on you. Good on you. That, that's good ingenuity like that. Yeah. Good on you. Got raped in a D&D game. Be me. Go to friend's house to play D&D. He brought someone I didn't know. Whatever, dot JPG. I'm playing a female druid with a pet snake. We play a pretty fun game. Clear the dungeon. Typical D&D stuff. Friend's friend suggests we stop at a local tavern to spend some of our newly acquired gold. Agree. We get some drinks and sit down at a table. He rolls a charisma check. Natural 20. Hey and on. You want to head upstairs? And a wink. I roll for a wisdom check. Unnatural six. It's not enough. My character follows him to your room. What are we going to do on the bed? Pumph. <laughs> he rolls another charisma check. Dead ass, another 20. We fuck against my will. I go quiet. It's oh. awkward. I make my I make an excuse and leave the game. So yeah, I got raped in D&D. I don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> look, look, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Could the, you not have got your snake to like constrict him? I no, no, no. The only way to handle a lepus in D&D is to simply leap the lepus. Rape the rapist. It's the only way, guys. Yeah. I'm telling you. Or, no, they might enjoy that. Oh, no, they'll probably be in dead, actually. Yeah. Oh my god. Would that, oh my god, would <laughs> oh, no. that make it even worse? Yes. Oh god, that would actually make it worse. <laughs> so can some of you guys try it out just to let us know how that went? In D and D, yeah, in D and D, of course. <laughs> don't don't uh, don't be don't be going up to Parpalaki or something like that. <laughs> when they, let me see your muscles. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Parpalaki. Be me, small time criminal birdman. Watch door while crime boss man dissolves bodies. Hear some high roller motherfuckers by the whole floor. Lol, what? Dot PNG. <laughs> Strike up conversation with high roller. Guy tosses hundreds around like candy. Motherfucker needs a driver, and I can drive. Get a job, life is good. Happy bird, dot JPG. <laughs> Gotta talk to some athletes. Gotta solve a murder. Motherfucker's got psychic powers. End up in some fuck wizard's SCP ripoff. This is my life now, dot JPG. <laughs> Shit happens. Fuck magic. Fuck with dwarves. Dwarves has kobold problem. <laughs> kobold slavery, L my own. Coney 2012, here we go. Oh, for God's sake. And now I'm only catching on to what the fuck this whole thing's about. It's about them Kenkus and that stupid fucking about. I've had this before. People have said to me, oh, you don't like Kenku. Oh, you've clearly never played once. I'm telling you, it's a stupid fucking gimmick race. It's a gimmick race. It doesn't make any sense. It's really, like, you play over more than three sessions. You tell me you're just going to abandon that altogether and you're just going to play a least skinned human. High roller at the helm. Cobol hashtag Kobold's rights. <laughs> SCP ripoff not happy with hashtag Kobold rights. Told to yoink SCP ripoff motherfuckers. In frozen fucking tundra. Fuck tundra. Buy truck. Fuck international borders. Truck gets shot out. Need new truck. Steal new truck. <laughs> Gotta get through place. Sneaky birdman dot JPG. High roller gets orc disguise. Find wolves. Fuck wolves. Need distraction. Distraction fails to high roller. Got one idea. Grenade.jpg. High roller bleeds out from distraction. Carted away in an ambulance. Oh fuck, think fast. Sneak in the ambulance. Zoom. Carted out in the cell. <laughs> Sneak in the gurney. Sneak in the cell. Make him chug good juice. All according to plan. Gif. Unlock cell. Orc disguise. Volume 2. Need distraction. Find prisoner. Idea. Arm prisoner. Send unarmed guard. 
greatescape.mov. Psychic athlete steals another truck. LOL, fuck your fence. Escape, truck shot out though. Need new truck. Ah, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> new truck to monastery. Inspector Pope makes guard kill himself. What the fuck? Nice truck. Yoink. High roller plus psychic athlete equals pilgrims. Drops duct tape rope for Birdman. Dope. Time for stealth. Sneaky beaky. <laughs> for fuck's sake. Sneaky beaky. <laughs> Sneaky beaky. Find high pilgrim. Take photo for high roller. I am the spy. <laughs> Dot SM. <laughs> high roller goes in. Hear gunshot. Oh no. What the fuck? Panic. Get call. I suggest the warlord. What? My face when they're engaged. Mercenary trust fund child park couple. Don't JPG. <laughs> I refuse to believe that anyone can play one of these kankus seriously. I, you just can't. I'm, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I already can hear the boys going at me in the comments. It's like, no, you just don't get it. It's like, yeah, I do. I do. I, no, I just don't get it, actually. You're right. I don't get it. You're right. Be me. 18. Parents want to do something with me, so I suggest D&D, since I've been doing that recently. I get a friend that hosts my D&D, and I get into gaming mode. We start playing, and 15 minutes in, my friend tells me, there's a scared little elf in the dungeon. I, in a relaxed mood, easily say, rape her. (laughs) Oh my god. My parents just went into the room, and my friend immediately left. I don't know what to do now. (sighs) I can't, I have, like, mate, you're a lost calls, I'm sorry. I know. So that's post, but no tree neck beard your video is complete without some furry cringe thing. <laughs> it's nice we split gun at the end. Look at the background house. Rustic kitchenware, handmade shelves. These people are extremely poor, but the old man is used to it. Most likely made all that stuff with his own hands. He had a son and tried his best to raise him right. But what happened? The internet got a hold of him and drove the devil into him. Now instead of being a hard-working man like himself... He would at the very least be able to take care of himself when the old man dies. He has a degenerate of a son. A degenerate of a son who spends his time and limited money making animal costumes. And he has the audacity to dress up and pretend to be a dog man during one of the few family holidays they get to spend time together. The father is ashamed. The mother is ashamed. Some other relative holds the camera and tries to cheer everyone on because they don't want this family to fall apart any more than it possibly could. And the worst thing is, the son doesn't even bother to take his silly mask off. No, instead, he would prefer to maintain his role of gay faggot furry. (laughs) (laughs) When he fondly looks back on this picture, he will be completely oblivious to the shame his family felt and still feel. No, in his delusional mind, enforced by online supporters, he will feel he is doing a good thing that his life is great, and that he is the wolf man he always knew he was, <laughs> because he is insane. <laughs> Honestly, the look of just genuine oh, I feel disappointment. So bad for his parents. Look at his dad. Right? The, that that the dad. That's you can just so see. sad. That is. That's a very sad. I want to hug his dad. But like it's okay. <laughs> his dad place stinks to high heaven. So does the man. But that's not the point. You can already tell this photo smells bad. <laughs> but it, it, it's a very sad state of affairs. It looks like it's from, like, Russia or Eastern Europe, but you know it's actually not. Yeah. It's probably, like, West Virginia or somewhere like that. (laughs) Sorry, (laughs) everybody who lives in West Virginia! (laughs) Like, next, I'm sorry, but, like, you know, like, I'm sorry. Like, it's just the way it is. Like, okay, like, we're going to end it here before I get into any more trouble by insulting people from West Virginia. (laughs) Oh, my God. Like, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. I know the last one was about out of context. But I've had it sitting here for ages, and I've been wanting to use it, so, like, why not? Okay? Like, I just wanted to, like, dish it on in. All <laughs> yeah. right? And I hope you all have a lovely part, well, whatever, whatever Happy New Year. <laughs> whatever you're doing for New Year's. I don't Let's expect many people to see this, because, know. you know, it's uh, the day we're uploading, it's the last day of 2020. Yeah. Let's hope 2021's better for us all. We've all had a hard year this year. and Yeah. Let's hope. Well, it can't really get any worse, can it? <laughs> Megan, don't fucking say that. It can't get any worse. You don't let's know. Let's reference this in 2022, going into 2022, and let's see if uh, it did, in fact, get, get worse. worse. <laughs> I, I, I expect it don't only get worse from this point no, onwards. No, but I, hope, I wish you all a Happy New Year and that yeah. you all stay healthy and happy and same to your families as well. And 
this is the last video of 2020 so we'll hope you guys enjoy yeah. um, remember, check out everything check, check out, out all the, the links look, do you go, Do you want some fat ass orc titties with big look at them hips <laughs> them, oh my god them hips they're going to crush your spine <laughs> they will crush your spine they will crush your like just just check it out <laughs> let's end it here go ahead and hit subscribe as well and hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever we post and we'll see you in the new video in the next video next video well new video (laughs) oh I'll I'll see you next year guys (laughs) (laughs) bye